Hi guys, well, I've landed at base camp and um, there are a few things that I need to do to sort out uh, digs because I'm going to be sleeping in a hammock tonight so uh, I've got this tree that I'm going to have to bring down, it's a dead tree and uh, then I'm going to have enough space between these two trees here which I'll show you in a, a wee while to hang the hammock and uh, put the tarp up. Yep, it's dead. It's definitely there. Not that much. So I'm pretty sorted as far as the fire goes. Uh, I'm all set up there. I'm just going to put the uh, ridge line up now and uh, the tarp and then we will have the hammock up as well. So what I'm going to use is this like uh, bank line type stuff. It's very very strong. High tensile, can carry a lot of weight. This is what I'm going to use for the ridge line. Over, over, under, and over. Back in on myself.
with any hammock you need something to heat the back, the base of the uh, hammock. The uh, British military folding ground mat. It's only a three quarter length. It comes up to about what? About four foot all in all. It fits in there nice and tidy. It's fairly thick. It's very easy to fold away and that just goes into the back of my pack and uh, fits in quite nicely as well. What about that badgie? Hey? What do you think? Eh? You happy? Do we need the bug net tonight? What do you reckon? Yeah. Good. I like it badge. Well guys, we're getting there, slowly but surely, getting there. Just got to get the tarp up now and then uh, we're rocking and rolling and start preparing the fire and the food. So again I'm going to have to do a couple of uh, prussic knots. Um, I'll show you quickly what I, how I do this. Let's get the camera down here. Cut yourself some rope. So you want it to be about the length of your knife, let's say. So, a couple of pieces, because I'm going to have one on either side. Tie that through itself. Then what you're going to do along the ridge line is so that's the ridge line there, you're going to wrap this round and then through again until you've got something like that. Yeah. Then what happens is when you put your stick through there, your little nub of little twig, and then that goes through the loop of the tarp and then it makes it very secure you see and they're, they're easy to pull to pieces so I'm going to do this now so you can see I need an half decent twig first of all I've got to shape the stick just take any sharp edges off it right so that's both of them are done now and then we'll see what we can do now as far as sorting that out you can hear the cuckoo in the background, hopefully. So through once, through twice. You can do it three times if you wish. Make sure you've got everything all nice and neat there. Now just put that through, twist it and then make sure I've got the centre of the tarp. So I've got a nice tight tarp now. What we'll do now is uh, tie the tarp down. So a quick way to uh, utilise your skills in a speedy fashion is do something like this. And sort of like crack on as if you're making a notch. But you actually Putting it down to uh, spikes on both ends. So, just 
breaks off like so and just quickly sharpen that sharpen that one Do you ever have one of them days, guys? Hey, one of them days. Well, I'm having that, that day. One of the cameras has, uh, well, the SD card's full, so I'm gonna have to sort that out. I know, budge. I'm gonna saw it, you know. And so I'm down to one camera, guys, and we'll just have to see how this goes, how this pans out for the rest of this. Thank God it's just a one-nighter. Silky stock, so still great, still sharp, still doing the job as it should do. It's a fairly decent piece of pine. Got a fair few uh, growth rings on it there, if you can see. So it's a decent piece. How many? What should we say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve years. Twelve years, dead ski saw now. <laughs> Guys, there are there are gremlins at work, let me tell you. The camera has just gone into well just give me a sign saying message saying the card is full so I've changed it but uh, that was a fairly fresh card that guy's been joined by a massive bumblebee right so I'm gonna get on with this chopping I just gone chasing the bumblebee <laughs> sewing and chopping so before the uh, the card ran out, what I was saying is, as I saw, when I start to get a bit further down, so like going towards the centre of the log, then what I do is I turn it, just so it's not ticking. So the bite is, as we go down, you can see there that it's taking up quite a bit of, um, pull so if I turn it then it, it's it's just it just makes the job a lot easier rather than pulling through four inches I'm pulling through either three inches or two inches you see I don't know what you guys think because uh, you know that's just me we all do it we all do things in our own different ways don't we whatever we think is easier I don't know if there's a scientific a way of doing it of measuring it scientifically but it just feels easier to me That's another way of doing it, but as you can see I've not got much ground, uh, ground clearance there, so... There you go. Oh, so before I came here, I went to see a mate of mine, uh, Elliot, and uh, we were just watching a brief uh, glimpse, or we just had a brief glimpse at the, uh, the wedding ceremony between uh, Harry and uh, Megan, and uh, great to see. I wish him all the best. He's a genuine guy, that guy. I suppose she is as well. 
he's a lucky man, that's all I can say. And I think he knows it. Because she is a beauty. Everything's dead here except for the moss. The moss will actually uh, make the fire smoky, so you just got to be wary of that. Should we get the fire going? There's tons and tons of gremlins going on today with the camera, with the tripod, with the uh, memory sticks. So the full, the merry card, should I say. So that's the situation now, budgies. Staying warm. I'll try and get the camera sorted. I'll have to stick it there for now, I think. As you can uh, see, so as you can see there on this wobbly camera, that's the uh, that's the situation where the fire is. So it's below. Well, it's just on the outside of the tarp there, and that'll cool down, or that'll settle down, should I say, soon. So because there's quite a lot of heat rising up there towards the tarp, but it should be fine. Let's get some food on there. Get your mitts. Get your snizzer out of there. Come on. I'll stick some more wood on here. And then I'll have a little cold then. And come back. Ooh, baby! Should we go down to the river? Hey, should we want some water? Just makes the job quicker and easier. Come on, Badger, get yourself a drink. Come on, get yourself a drink. Good girl. Good girl. All nice and clean. We made the right choice as far as uh, the fire is concerned because the wind's blowing from behind us. That's a lesson I learned from the last time camped here. Just get that on the boil now and uh, come here badge. Get that on the boil. I've got some beautiful rice and uh, meat and a few other. I've got on the hunt for some veggies. Some greens to go in it. There's tons of plantain, um, dandelion, I think there's wood sorrel as well. So I'm going to see what I can find and then I can add that to the dish. So I'll leave you here for a brief moment while I go on a little wander.
Remember guys, this, that is looking very much like uh, the early signs of fox gloves, that, to me. Uh, and as you know guys, that's poisonous, so we'll give that a miss. What else have we got? got a little mushroom there. That's only an, an hallucinogenic mushroom, otherwise known as magic mushrooms. We don't want any of them. These are Hubbery, Huckleberry or Bilberry bushes. You can see through some of the... Uh, they're just starting to grow some of the berries. Plantain. That'd have to be cut and boiled twice. Tons of itty bitty tadpoles. Well, we know where to come if we need any uh, frogs' legs for supper later on in the year. That's not even plantain, that. Nah, if you don't know. Don't eat it. These little leaves here, these are edible. We'll take some of these. Not that many. We'll have to do though. Spice things up a little bit. Let's have a look, see what are we doing here as far as the boil is concerned. It's good enough to put. Some rice in there. Got some rice badge. Let me move you from there, guys, because you're getting smoke on you. Right. I did find some green, so we'll add some of that to the rice. Once the rice is done. What I bring with me on the other occasion, let me just turn you. Look at that. Smoke's following you. This is, not salami, smoked pork sausage. So we'll have this, me and the badge. I'll give her a slice now because this girl's hungry. Ooh. There you go badge. Good girl, good girl. The rice is on the boil now. And the water's on the boil, so I better sort that out. Let me just put the camera up a little bit. Oh man, this tripod is dire. Dire. New tripod. Got to get a new tripod. Decided. I'll come out for one night, just to spend a bit of time uh, keeping up on my skills, doing a bit of plant ID. Again, you know, with any sort of like survivally type thing, you're only as good as what you know in your surroundings. So I've been here now, this is my second time here, so I've, I know for sure that if it's greenery that I want, so any green leaves, then food isn't that plentiful on this side of the river. On the other side it is. It would be an idea to sort of like collect all the greenery that you need to pick that up on the way around and then give it a good wash as um, in the river before you use it. And like I say, survival is about knowing the terrain, knowing the environment uh, and the climate and so forth of that particular area and then um, adapting to that. I'm not an expert as far as um, food and edibles and stuff like that. I know a few mushrooms that you can eat and I know a few plants that you can eat and stuff like that. But uh, uh, I'm certainly not an expert. This is far different from the forests of Russia or the forests of Burma or the sands of uh, Saudi Arabia or the snowy Iceland of Siberia very different and all that all them different environments need a whole load of different skills equipment and knowledge 
uh, and a lot of that knowledge is passed down come on the badge um, from generation to generation come up so it's a cultural thing from father to son usually and mother to daughter um, or mother to son whichever let's not get political a lot of that has been lost a lot of bushcraft guys out there who are trying to reclaim some of that um, a lot of people I thought she had a tick then I thought I could feel a tick and it's good to see it's good to see I think we've got so much technology around that um, people are getting a bit fed up of it a bit sick of it there's a lot of pressure around time scales need to be met and so forth and that that takes a burden on people so getting out into the forest or into nature is more where we are supposed to be not behind computer desks um, or computers and desks um, not that type, not not with robots not with machinery um, not watching screens or monitoring things these are really these are alien to us so um, there is really a, a resurgence to go back to what we know really it doesn't mean we're going backwards it just you know nature is nature maybe we need to think about that more as far as our own health whether it's physical or mental health is concerned so this is a bit of I don't know what this is this is a bit of a, a rant I suppose maybe a rant or a, maybe a philosophical talk or or discussion even if you want to leave a comment feel free to do so you know add something to the debate in a sense it's certainly something that we should um, we should do more of and I'm certainly going to do more of and hopefully I can do more of it and bring some people along like you guys the more the merrier that everyone can get out so I hope that whilst you're watching this you're getting something from it a bit of the vibe a bit of the atmosphere it's food time now I'm hungry um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the uh, budgie out not badgie but budgie you know who budgie is don't you well if you don't and you're new to the channel uh, budgie is my little flying machine and uh, I'm gonna give you a view of the surrounding area in the morning but I want to make sure that you can see this because it's a beautiful environment very very beautiful so that's enough of uh, me jibber jabbing guys I will uh, I'll leave you to it for a brief moment I'm just gonna have some food now and are you hungry you are aren't you? yeah give us a yeah give us a yeah she's hungry does that look delightful or what whole grain rice with smoked sausage we've got some wild garlic and onions and it's all cooked nice and tidy oh yeah very hot I am about to enjoy you can have some in a bit but not yet not yet I'll save you some that's the rule isn't it oh that sausage tastes better. Hot. Mmm. You can lick lips on that one, girl. Getting a nice fire going. Food. Later on, I'll have a coffee. All lifts the spirit. So I've got to say, I haven't been feeling it today, guys. I've got to be honest with you. One thing after another thing after another thing all went peat tongue not not putting the, the tarp up not putting the hammock up not put, not uh, chopping the wood you know them type of things no problem not getting here no problem not walking here not a problem beautiful weather walked here with ease no problem carrying a lot of weight but hey it's all part of the training, isn't it? Just the cameras. Oh yeah. Nice. I've got an holiday coming up, so I'm gonna take the kids away. Don't know where yet, 
Don't know whether we're going to go to Scotland or uh, Wales. I quite like the thought of um, of Shell Island. The kids love it there. We can go fishing for some mackerel, go for a swim in the sea, and uh, enjoy the beach. We've been there in the past. Um, a couple of years ago, there was a bit of a storm, and um, the sea was really, really rough, and it uh, it dragged up starfish, hundreds of thousands of starfish, up on the beach, and uh, it was awesome to see. Awesome. No harm done to most of them, but because um, they just went back into the sea. But it was awesome. Awesome. Uh, another time. Uh, we went there was a uh, same type of thing really similar type of thing and maybe it was a seasonal thing as well because there was a load of jellyfish they'd been washed up and that was a bit spooky as well because they're weird they are aliens they're not from this planet I don't care what you say I don't care what anybody says they are not real well really from this planet Big chunk of meat. So yeah, we'll go there. Kids can play with a few of their friends and stuff. I can have a little dabble at uh, my sea craft, my sea bush craft, as far as cooking is concerned. Limpets. Razor clams and all that stuff. Shark. It's really good for fishing mackerel. Anyway, am I waffling too much? Is this boring? I don't know. Don't feel like it's boring to me. Oh man. Need an asbestos mouth. Right guys, I'll eat this. I'll give you a bit of a break, eh? getting pretty dark at the moment so um, the camera is is not functioning as well as I would have liked it in this sort of light in this type of light so it's been a long day anyway so I'm gonna get my head down now um, and I'll see you in the morning and we'll do some drone flying and stuff like that I'll see you in the morning, you'll probably continue seeing me, hopefully guys, hopefully. Alright, you take care, see you in the morning.
Ciao for now. I'm just going to drink my coffee and then chill. Can you see me there? Can you see me? Yeah, I'm just going to drink my coffee, guys, and I'm going to chill. Take it easy. It's been one of those days, that's all I can say. Take two, the microphone work switched on. Uh, so that's me, this is me, and uh, all packed away. I've just got a few things to clear up here, and uh, then I'm gonna take, once that's done, because the fire's out, it's had two litres of water put on it, I'm gonna take this little baby, Budgie, for a little, uh, you all right, Badge? For a little fly around, and show you the vicinity. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've not seen the channel before, consider subscribing. Please like and uh, press the notification button and all them things. And uh, check out the links below. So until next time guys, you take care and I'll see you on the next Hub Fin. Ciao for now.